Caterpillar by Eric Carl. This book, it talks all about how a caterpillar starts off as an egg and it goes all the way to a butterfly. I have some of my friends even do a project to show this process and you get to see it too. Three, four. One point. Yeah. All right. And you can put these four over here. Hold on, Kelly. Put the eggs over here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I put it right here. Yeah. I saw it yesterday. You did? And then which one do you think is the butterfly? This one. That one. This one. And the other one is both shoes. Yeah, right there. There we go. Awesome. All right, go do your job. Thank you. You know what you want, Dad? Here we go.
Once you have painted all of your materials, you now have the four parts of a butterfly life cycle. You've got the egg, to the caterpillar, to the chrysalis, into a beautiful butterfly. Little bit time! I got to see the water cycle in my classroom. We took a plastic bag and drew the, a cloud, the sun, and water below just to see how it moves through the water cycle. We got to see evaporation, precipitation, and condensation. Wow. The water cycle is so cool and it happens all around us every single day. You can try this experiment at home to see the water cycle too. So they clicked on the elevator and they raced to the aquarium. Once they were inside, Kaylee found a whole new world of water animals. It was the most magical place she had ever been to. She discovered a world of sharks. They were very mystical and magical creatures. She also saw bubbly beluga whales. One of her other favorite animals with the puppins. The coral reef animals were her favorite. So many different colors. They came in all different shapes. And she loved to see them eat tiny pieces of coral. 
off of the racks. Wow, an entire school of fish. The ocean is so full of amazing creatures, Kaylee found. She loved to see them swim and explore the water around them. Kaylee even got to touch a stingray. Two fingers, please. I hope you enjoyed that adventure, and I also did a fun craft, and you get to see it again right now. Did somebody say create? I love to create. Let's create! Let's start by gathering our materials. You're gonna need paper, washi tape, watercolors, a cup of water, and a brush, and some paint. Start by decorating your shape. You can outline this shape, as you can see on the paper. You can outline it with a circle, a square, and you can begin decorating. Once you have your lines for your tape, you can start to paint in between the lines to add a little more creation and more decoration for your watercolor card. If you don't have paint, you can also use materials such as markers and crayons to color in your shape as well. If you don't have watercolor paper, you can use a paper plate. And you can also draw any other type of shape that you'd like. We chose a square because it's just one of our favorite shapes, but you can use a circle, a triangle, a heart, or a diamond. most important thing to remember as you're going through your process is to create and let your imagination run wild. Look how Kaylee's mixing those colors.
Once you start to come to an end with your painting, it's time for your new materials. You're going to need some scissors and a hole puncher and yarn. This is gonna be the start of you creating your lacing card. But first, let's cut out our shape. Next, let's take our hole puncher and we'll begin to make holes all around our shape. This is what we're gonna use to lace our yarn through. Now take a piece of yarn and start to thread all the way around. If you need some help, just ask a grown up that you have nearby. To top it off, tie your string in the back of your lacing card, and you're done! Now you have a beautiful watercolor lacing card! I hope you enjoyed the recap show! Make sure to tune in!